YouTube, what is going on? And welcome to the 13th episode of my Footheads Hybrid series. In today's episode, we are going to be doing something very different than what we normally do on this series. The EA Sports recently added the new Team of the Group stage, and that is from the Champions League. All of the members of the Team of the Group stage are in the round of 16 of the Champions League. So I decided to use some of these players that made it through to the round of 16 of the Champions League and make five squads based on every single player is in the round of 16 of the Champions League. So we start off with squad number one and it has an informed trio of players from the team of the group stage and that is Raheem Sterling, Dezuba, and Hulk. Hulk and Sterling are your wingers and they couldn't be any more different. Sterling is very rapid and has great dribbling with 95 and 90 respectively. Not the best shooting at 82 and not the best passing at 77, while Hulk is very muscular and a great shooter with only 87 pace and 86 dribbling, which isn't bad, but it's definitely not the Sterling's caliber. But Hulk does have 89, 87, and 88 shooting, passing, and physical, so that is absolutely fantastic. Dezuba is the striker. He's not the best striker in the world by any means. But he did have a very solid group stage for Zenit, helping them win their group and advance to the round of 16 of the Champions League. The midfield is going to consist of Fernandinho, Oscar, and Iniesta. Fernandinho and his Manchester City teammate Sterling helped Manchester City go through to the knockout stages of the Champions League. Oscar also made it through with Chelsea and Iniesta with Barcelona, of course. The midfield's pretty solid. The only problem I might have is that the defending and physical might not be there with most midfields, but it is very good with passing and dribbling, with the lowest passing or dribbling on any player being Fernandinho with 78. The defense is very solid as well with Danilo from Real Madrid, the Brazilian, his teammate through the knockout stages. Also, Burnett, the left back, is going to be going through to the knockout stages with his Bayern Munich teammates. The center backs are David Alaba and Mark Bartra. David Alaba got this inform card in the team of the group stages, and it looks absolutely fantastic. 87 defending, 75 physical, 85 dribbling, 75 shooting, 83 passing, and 87 pace. I'm not sure where this card would be best used, to be honest, because it has over 75 on every single stat, and it just looks fantastic as a center back, but he is only 5'10", only 75 physical, could let down. I don't know if it would be used better at a left back too, his natural position, because left backs aren't really used that often in like attacking and they can't really do as much. I think it'd probably be best at a CDM or central midfielder being box to box with the high medium work rates and 87 pace, 85 dribbling. And I believe he has some really great stamina. Let's go click on his card and really see those stats in depth. So let's wait for it to load right now. And as you can see on the physical, which is 75, he does have 91 stamina, so he would definitely be much better as a central midfielder. But unfortunately, he is the center back, but it's still a fantastic card. Bartra is your other center back, and him and Barcelona made it through the knockout stages. He gets the perfect link to Iniesta, and he's been pretty solid for Barcelona, playing a good amount of games for them, and he's been solid in the time that he has received. The goalkeeper is going to be Manuel Neuer, widely considered the best goalkeeper in the world, and he will pair up with Alaba and Burnett in the Bayern Munich defense, which will get them those green links that gets them in full chemistry, and they are looking very strong to be one of the teams that could easily make the semifinals, finals, or win the whole competition. We now go into the second squad that is going to be like the first squad. Every single player will be in the knockout stages of the Champions League, and it will be full chemistry. We start off up front with three Spanish players in Pedro, Diego Costa, and Isco. Actually, every single attacker and midfielder in the squad is going to be Spanish. Pedro and Costa get the perfect link from Chelsea in Spain, and they have two pretty solid cards. Pedro with four-star skill moves and five-star weak foot, and also 82 pace and 84 dribbling is pretty solid. Diego Costa did not like to buy a lot of people, as myself, but... He is a very solid player on this game, 82 pace, 83 shooting, 88 physical, 79 dribbling, 3 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot. Isco does get the position change from central attacking midfielder to right mid, and with his 4 star skill moves and 3 star weak foot, it could be a decent position change, but I don't know if it really helps him because only 76 pace on the wing isn't the best, and he does have 83 passing, which would be great for the central midfield positions. Your two central midfielders are very similar in Jebby Alonso and Sergio Busquets. They're both considered legends of the game. They both have very solid defending and also passing on their card and are both very slow and they're just really vital to their team's success. So 
They're very important players in the squad and also more in real life. The fullbacks are Ricardo Rodriguez and also Danny Alves. Rodriguez and Alves both had their teams in the knockout stages, with Wolfsburg being probably a bit of a surprise making it through to the knockout stages. Them and PSV surprised and beat Manchester United by making it through to the knockout stages. And then Danny Alves for Barcelona. Of course, everybody knew Barcelona would probably make it to the knockout stages, which they did. And the center backs are Naldo, Jevi Martinez, and Chiellini. Naldo and Rodriguez helped form a strong Wolfsburg defense, which helped stop the likes of PSV, CSK, Moscow, and also Manchester United from scoring goals. So Wolfsburg were very solid defensively. Jevi Martinez is a Bayern Munich player. I don't believe he plays too much for Bayern Munich anymore. He might be, like, hurt or something, but he has a pretty solid card in this game and gets that perfect link to Alonso. The other center back is Chiellini, who's been absolutely fantastic for Juventus the past couple years, has definitely become one of the best center backs in the world, and his card is absolutely fantastic. 78 pace, 92 defending, and 87 physicals are very solid. And the legend, Gian Luigi Buffon, is in goal. 85 rated with this inform card, and he has some fantastic stats, like 92 positioning, 88 diving, 87 reflexes, and 83 handling. So, this squad's pretty cool. Um, I like the defense, having... Two center backs that are in form, and also a goalkeeper that is in form. And I just like the look of the squad, so it looks pretty solid. And now we go into the third squad of this episode. The third squad of this episode is going to be Loic Remy and Luis Suarez up front. So, two very different players. Suarez is definitely much better than Remy. Remy is a bit faster, but Suarez crushes him in every other stat. Suarez has 12 better shooting, 17 better passing. 18 better dribbling, 12 better def defending, and 15 better physical. So Suarez is, the, is an absolutely fantastic player. This informed card could easily be the best striker card we have seen all year on FIFA. He does have 4-star skill moves and 4-star weak foot, plus 90 shooting, plus 90 dribbling, plus 85 on pace, passing, and physical. So that's absolutely fantastic. Remy's just more your pace, your option, sweat, OP. Your wingers are going to be Alexis Sanchez and Isco. Isco was used in the last squad. We already mentioned his position change. Sanchez helped lead Arsenal to a come-from-behind effort to reach knockout stages. They had to beat Olympiacos on the final day, and they did beat them 3-0, fueled by a Giroud hat-trick. So that was good for Arsenal and all the Arsenal fans on getting through to the knockout stages of the Champions League. And Sanchez got this inform card because of his play in the group stages. It's a very solid card with 89 pace, 90 dribbling, 88 shooting, and 83 passing, along with 77 physical. So it's very well balanced, and he does have four star skill moves. The two central defensive midfielders are Sergio Busquets and Francis Cucklin. Cucklin is loved by the Arsenal fans, and I don't really see how good he is, but he is pretty solid in FIFA, having every stat but shooting above 70, and he does have 78 physical and 75 defending as his key defending stats for central defensive midfielder. Busquets is your other central defensive midfielder, and as he was in the last squad, he's very solid defensively, passing, and physical. Your defense is going to be two Wolfsburg players, which were in the last squad, and Ricardo Rodriguez and Naldo. Thiago Silva and Serge Aurier are your other two defenders, and they form a very solid line with PSG, helping lead them to knockout stages with Real Madrid in their group. So that was a very tough group for anyone else. And even Real Madrid and PSG, they had to go against each other. So if they would have slipped up both games, they might have been in some trouble. But in the end, they were not in that much trouble as PSG and Real did advance comfortably. Neto in goal is the backup goalkeeper for Juventus, but I needed him for chemistry re reasons. I don't believe he even played a minute in the Champions League because of Buffon, but he's, his team still made it, so he has potential to play in the knockout stages, even though that is highly unlikely. But he was needed for chemistry reasons, as I mentioned before. <clears throat> we now go into the fourth squad of today's episode, and that is going to be Gaetan, Aguero, and Di Maria up front. So, three players from Argentina that all have their teams in knockout stages of the Champions League, like every single other player in today's episode. Gaetan helped Benfica go second in their group, along with Atletico Madrid, through to the knockout stages. Aguero is one of the best strikers in the world, and him and Manchester City advanced in knockout stages, winning their group over Juventus and Sevilla. Angel Di Maria helped PSG advance along with Real Madrid, and all three of these players have very solid cards, and they just look fantastic. Like, 
Di Maria has 89 pace, 88 dribbling, 83 shooting, 85 passing. Catan's a little bit worse with 84 pace, 87 dribbling, 80 shooting, and 85 passing. Aguero's fantastic as well with 89 pace, 89 dribbling, 87 shooting, and 77 passing. The midfield's pretty solid, but definitely not the best defensively. De Bruyne only has 40 defending for the central midfielder, but he does have 83 shooting, 86 passing, and 84 dribbling. His team, Manchester City, and his formal team, Wolfsburg, are both going to be playing in the knockout stages of the Champions League. It would be interesting to see if they do come up, come up against each other in the round of 16. It would be very cool to see. I would definitely pick Manchester City to knock out Wolfsburg. But Wolfsburg has been surprising people. They helped knock out Manchester United, so maybe they'll be able to get the cross-town rivals as well. The two CDMs are Samaras and Zicciolini. Zicciolini, the youngster for Manchester City, has a very solid card on FIFA. Every stat is above 70, but physical and passing, which is still very close. He has a very well-balanced card and over 80 pace, 83 dribbling, and 70 shooting make him one of the most OP silver midfielders on the game. Samaras is a very solid central defensive midfielder with 82 physical, 78 defending, 76 passing, 74 dribbling, so a very solid card for him. Eliseu is the left back, and Smolikov is the right back. Eliseu helped Benfica go through to the knockout stages of the Champions League. Him, Samaras, and Gaetan lead that left side of the pitch. Smolikov is your right back, and he has a very solid card on FIFA with 87 pace, 78 dribble, 78 defending, 75 dribbling, 72 physical, and 77 passing. Very solid overall stats for a right back. Gary and Otamendi, the Argentinian center backs, are going to be your center backs in the squad. And Otamendi has 80... 84 rated, has 75 pace, 86 defending, and 82 physical. Gets a perfect link to the goalkeeper, Willie Caballero, who is the backup to Joe Hart at Manchester City. And Gera gets the green link to Smolikov, and he has a pretty solid card, 87 defending, 78 physical. Did get a team of the season card last year, as he is a very solid center back in real life, and is probably the best center back from a not top 5 European league. That will wrap it up for that squad, and we do go into the fifth squad of today's episode, and the final squad of today's episode, and that is Jonas Douglas Costa and Willian, along with Hernanez, is going to be your attacking players in the midfield. Jonas is your striker, Benfica did go through, so he is eligible for the squad. He doesn't have the greatest card by any extent of the, med of the imagination. He has 77 pace, 83 dribbling, 83 shooting, and 74 physical, so definitely nothing special. Three-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. Just not an overall exciting player, but he is very decent, nonetheless. Douglas Costa and Willian are your left and right midfielders. They both have very similar cards. Costa with one better pace, one better dribbling, same shooting, one better passing, Oh, same physical and same defending. So, wow, that is so similar. I didn't actually really notice that until now. The star forward is going to be Hernanez, who his Juventus team did go through to the knockout stages. Ramirez and Fernandinho, the Brazilian central midfielders, and also both play in the BPL, will be your central midfielders for this squad. Fernandinho has a very solid overall card with every stat above 74, while Ramirez is very OP with 88 pace, 81 droop dribbling and 78 defending. Your fullbacks are going to be David Alaba and Juan Fran. Juan Fran helped Atletico Madrid go through to the knockout stages winning their group and David Alaba did help Bayern Munich to go through to the knockout stages. He did get a team of the group stage card but unfortunately it is a center back and would not fit into this team. The two center backs are Mark Bartra and Pique along with Bravo and goal. So three Barcelona players they did help lead Barcelona to the top of their group and into the knockout stages of the Champions League, so it's a pretty solid back line overall, and a pretty solid squad overall, and that will wrap it up for this special episode of my Foothead Hybrid series. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, and also subscribe for more Foothead Hybrids and other FIFA content.